What is good, everybody? It's your boy, Path the Designer, back at it again. I'm playing Daddy Daycare, so I got Lil Mama with me today. But we still got to get this content out, man. Today, we're going to be reacting to Justin Lewis, the Bulls' undrafted rookie that they signed right after the draft. Want to see how he looks? He's got a 7-2 wingspan. Is he going to be nice in the NBA? Let's talk about it, starting now. Now, if you are new to the channel, please like the video. Please subscribe to the pages. We do talk Chicago sports daily on this channel. It's the only channel talking Chicago sports, how Chicago talk. So make sure that you get in tune with us, man. Uh, Justin Lewis, 6772 wingspan, versatile player out of Marquette University. Want to see what he looks like. Want to see what he can bring the Bulls, man. Let's jump straight into it. I don't have too much to say uh, off bat on, uh, on top of everything that I've already said. So let's go. Let's see what we got here. Oh, okay. Wasn't expecting that. Off the bat, put back. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. Stop, spin at the bucket lay. Hey, 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 little mama, little mama, look. Hey, hey. Me and Hayes was talking about him, bro. We were talking about how, uh, how good cut. Good vision on that. Oh, meet him at the top, though. We were talking about how uh, he's such a versatile player. Pull up. Jay it in his face. Tray ball. Uh, and how uh, uh, he could be one of those gems, man. Look at that. I'll tell you what. That's one thing to me that, and I understand he's at Marquette University, that definitely can translate, dog, because you're knocking down a shot with a hand in your face. No matter what, it's still a hand in your face. Right, like it's still it's still a hand that that is is you know closing out on the shot, and he's doing it effortlessly, bro. That is something that definitely could translate at the NBA level to him. Look at it, jay it in your face, pull up and jay it in your face. Take that with you, man. He's got the putback game, man. I'll tell you what, we might have we might not have went and got EJ Liddell, but this definitely could be our version of an EJ Liddell. What a block! Good job getting it up. Hey, brother vision, a good passer as well. Hey, look, I said it, bro. And, and you see kind of how he moves, bro. He moves very much similar. Good body. Stop. Pull up. Jay. Take oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me right now? Hold up, hold up, bro. Hold up, I'm trying not to get too hype with the baby in the arms, bro. And I understand there's a different level of competition. Meet me at the top. But, uh, yeah, no, the athleticism, the handles, all of that, that, that all translates. Oh, my God. Oh, my. The baby. I, bro, 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 bro. Meet him. Pump fake, stop, drive, spin, lay, stop playing with him. Get in your bag. Get in your bag then. Jay it in the face, bro. Stop, pull up, Trey. Hey, listen, that's what the Bulls are looking for. That versatile, versatile three and D type of player, man. But this dude, good vision. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Good athleticism. Hey, 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 I like him. I like him. This is a good get. This is a good get. This ain't your Devon Dotson. This ain't a Devon Dotson, baby. Bruh. The vision is actually kind of crazy. Spin move jam. You're too small. What you think, man? She teething, so she just happy to have something cold in her mouth. Does it does it feel good? Hey, bro, how he's getting out in transition and the stop and pop ability, bro. The stop and pop ability is crazy, bro. <laughs> how did he go undrafted? 
I get it. It's Marquette, right? Like, I do get it. I get why he went undrafted. But his intangibles definitely. Oh, boy. Boy, I thought he was about to. I'd have left. I thought he was about to kill that man. I thought he was about to kill a man. I thought he was about to kill a man. Deep range with it. Bro, this is crazy. This is crazy right now what he's doing. Jab, pull up, finish. They got the steal there, good steal. Bro, I'm telling you, that translates so well. Fighting through the contact. He's going up against NIU right here. Hey! At the bucket lane. Bro, he's got so much game with it, dog. Like, what was that? Hey. What a dime. <laughs> hey, someone is just like, what a dime. What a dime. Big dimes. Bruh. What's up, mama? You don't got nothing to say? That's okay. Bro, I thought he was finna two in that man. <laughs> Fam, the the rise that he's getting and fighting through the lane like he is, bro. Yo. Yo. Is 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 Justin Lewis? Hey! Is he is he a steal? Is he a steal? Is he an undrafted gem? Bro, everything he's doing, like I get, right? Like I know there's people that are going to say, bro, it's versus St. John, it's versus NIU this. But bro, like the closeout J, fighting through the contact, those are things he's going to have to do at the NBA level. That, that, that Yes, it, the, the level of competition definitely changes. And you're not going to have people jumping out of their Nikes as much as that. Unless you're knocking down the tray, you know what I'm saying? But like that part right there, right? The closeout, the 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 body contact. I mean, I believe he's 245. He's very much, you know, for everybody who was upset that we didn't get EJ Liddell, he's very much an EJ Liddell type player. Like, look at this, bro. Look at the look at the vision too, right? Like willing passer. Following the shot, bro. These are things that all translate, bro. Hey, the Bulls might have got an undrafted gym, bro. The Bulls might have got, I think the Bulls got an undrafted gym here. Step back, pull up, Jay it in your face. No, oh boy, I thought he was going to pull it from the logo. Off of the screen, pull up, Jay, oh, the closeout. I'll tell you what, you know, AK, there you go. And good stuff there. Uh, I'll say this, right? AK's got a type. 
He definitely fits that type and he addresses some Bulls issues. His stat splits are very interesting, right? Because like away, he was way better than at home. Again, I didn't watch a lot of Marquette games. I don't think I watched any Marquette games. So I don't really know what that's about, right? But you're talking about a guy who was 48% from the field away, uh, averaging about 18, almost 19 points, but he was 42% at home. I don't know what that's about there. Uh, same with his three-point percentage. So 39% from three when he was away. At home, 31%. I don't know what that is. I don't know if like Marquette tightens the rims differently or something like that. I don't know if Marquette just had the rims tighten different or I don't know what that was, right? Like very weird splits, but still a very good player, very good rebounder. Uh, blocked about a little under a shot a game. So he was he was somebody who could get out and get after you. Um, I, I, I feel like... He, again, right, the averages, he'll, he'll probably be about average. Season one, I don't know if he's going to give you an immediate impact, but you can tell that AK is going for a special type of player, somebody who's going to be able to have length on the defensive end, is going to be able to get out there. He's got a 7-2 wingspan, and on the offensive end, also can give you some offensive output. He's got two guys in the draft this year, and Dalen and, uh, and Terry and Justin Lewis, who both can go out and shoot the three ball for you, who both can knock down that shot. He clearly saw what we needed last season and you get that length you get that help on the defensive end these are two players that could project to be very good players as far as justin lewis the bro as with, with the athleticism paired with the uh, uh 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 the shooting ability the the ability to get the shot through contact the ability to you know those are things that translate well to the nba for him hopefully he's able to put it together but right those are intangibles that i see that i would definitely be excited about and so justin lewis uh and and if you look at kind of like where they had him ranked draft wise he was like 38 on some 35 on some mocks 30 33 on some mocks you know what i'm saying where he was just outside the uh the top the the top people that were going to be drafted in that in that second round so uh i think that's something to kind of keep an eye on right like he, he's a player that that was just outside of there probably because he just went to marquette yeah you know i'm saying that's really all i could think for it but i think there's i think it's going to be a good uh pickup for the chicago bulls what you got to say mama what's wrong hmm? I think it's going to be a very good pickup for the Chicago Bulls. And uh, I can't wait to see uh, what these guys look like at Summer League. And then, of course, preseason and just seeing them get on the court and finally seeing how they're going to translate to the Chicago Bulls team, man. But I do want to know how you guys feel, man. Let me know in the comments below. I'll be down there talking with you as well. As always, man, it's your boy, Pat, the designer, back at it again. To continue watching our Chicago Bulls content, click the links on the screen or check the links in the description below. Y'all stay safe out there, Chicago. Go say peace, mama. Say peace. No peace. Peace, y'all. <laughs>